The Brave is a show that focuses on the men and women who keep the world safe, specifically two teams, uh, a team of intelligence analysts in Washington and a team of special forces covert undercover operators who work all around the world. Um, every week, the team is on a different mission, takes them to a different country where they find themselves working with local authorities to perform missions ranging from sabotage to rescue to capturing bad guys to gathering information. The covert team itself is what's known as a cross matrix team. So what it actually is, it's like a greatest of the greatest. We have men and, and women from Delta Force, we have a man from the Navy SEALs, and we have an agent from the CIA. You know, so we have we have women, we have Muslims, we have Christians. It's and it allows them to go undercover all over the world. Um, and they have skill sets that you don't find in straightforward military units, you know, like they're masters at impersonation, they speak multiple languages, they can blend in, they can sabotage, they can plant surveillance. Like they're really, um, they're sort of jack of all trades, spies, meets special forces operators, and all based in reality. The Brave is, is based in reality and it's based on what's happening today. You know, the truth is there are covert action teams in over 130 countries around the world as we speak. Um, and they're working in concert with other governments because the reality is the dangers of the modern world don't respect national boundaries and the fight for good is one that's shared by people all over the planet. You know, never in history have so many people been defended by so few. And I think that's what's really exciting to us at The Brave is we get to explore the humanity of those few men and women. You know, the amazing thing about the men and women who actually do this job, when you research them, when you talk to them, what you find out is, Yes, they have extraordinary skills, and yes, they've trained incredibly hard. But what really makes them special are their qualities like their resiliency, their ability to improvise. You know, that one of the operators referred to it as pickup basketball. You know, their tenacity. You know, they roll with the punches. And what's exciting for us as writers at The Brave is those are qualities we all have. And so we can sort of showcase the extraordinary lengths that they can take these qualities and what they can do with them. So on the one hand, they seem like superheroes, but the reality of these people is they're not. And the way to do justice to these people is to show that, is to emphasize those qualities. You know, one of the goals on The Brave is to showcase these men and women, show the world what they're really like. Um, Accuracy is something that we take very seriously. You know, we want to pay homage to the men and women who actually do this job. We want to get it right. We want the audience to understand what it feels like to bear these responsibilities and to sort of and to have these missions. Right from the outset, one of our goals of the Brave was to be as accurate and authentic as possible. And so that involved a lot of research and ultimately it led us to bring in technical consultants including Mikhail Vega who spent more than a decade in the Special Forces and who has connections all throughout the intelligence communities. And it's really, you know, it's about involving them in creative process. You know, we don't just say, please show up on the day and tell us how someone might hold a gun. You know, we had them put our entire cast through a boot camp and not just a sort of push-ups boot camp, but actually a boot camp where we trained them in tactical movement. You know, we shot the pilot over in Morocco. We brought Mikhail with us and we spent days just teaching the team how to follow someone through an actual market. Days just teaching the team how to move through buildings. You know, because when you talk to the real men, when, when you talk to the real men and women who do this job, what you hear over and over again is the details like movement, like team coordination. Those are the details that they haven't seen before. Those are the details that they pride themselves on, and that's the difference between life or death. And so when we decided to sort of build our team at the Brave, our goal was, let's get those details right. Yeah, you know, it's great. When we were casting the Brave, we, we put together sort of this team of individual actors who had never met before. Um, but what happened was, 
We brought them to Morocco, we put them through a boot camp, and we put them with a technical advisor, Mikhail Vega, who was tasked not just with teaching them what to do, but teaching them how to be a team and actually put them through a lot of team building exercises. And the happy accident was the actors themselves really get along with one another. You know, it's an incredibly diverse cast, but the diversity sort of fuels the friendships. And what's happened is our team of actors has sort of transformed in just to a team. When we write The Brave, one of the things we, we all talk about is, let's make the audience the sixth member of the Special Forces team. Let's make them the fourth analyst. Um, and that's partially because on these missions, the decisions that these men and women have to make are at times incredibly challenging. And not just challenging in terms of maybe I'll lose my life, but challenging in terms of what's the right thing to do here. You know, uh, intelligence analysts are often making life or death decisions on very limited information. You know, it's not as simple as we definitely know what to do. It's educated guesses, and it's educated guesses where they're taking the lives of people that they've grown to care for into the balance. Um, likewise, with the team itself, you know, they deploy together and spend sometimes up to nine months together in incredibly harsh environments. What that does is it forms a really strong familial bond. Uh, you talk to the men and women who do this job, and invariably what they say is, you start to care so much about the other people on the team that it becomes easy to risk your life because you actually value the lives of the other people around you more. I think white people should watch The Brave. You know, ultimately, we're looking for heroes in this world, and there are heroes. There are real men and women who are devoting their lives to keeping this world safe. And how they do it, the qualities that they have that make them special, their resiliency, their attitude, you know, their, um, their resiliency, their attitude, their ability to endure injustices and to just keep going, the faith they have in one another. You know, these are qualities that we need to be reminded are out there. You know, the world feels like it's running out of heroes, but the truth is there are heroes working on our behalf right now, doing amazing things, and their stories deserve to be told. You know, the brave is based in reality, and the reality is teams like Captain Dalton's and, and, and analysts like Patricia, like, they don't just work in one country. They work in countries all over the globe. Um, so in season one of The Brave, you'll see missions in Nigeria, you'll see missions in Ukraine, Mexico, South America, um, the Middle East, Asia. The truth is, these teams operate in over 130 countries around the world, uh, and The Brave will go to those countries. You know. Uh, the Brave also features our cast working with local men and women of law enforcement in those nations. You know, there's a, there's a myth that we go in and we do these things alone. A and the truth is, we go in and we do these things working with local partners. And that's a really important part of our show because it brings a, a sort of, it, it, it not only shows everyone that we're all working for the same thing, but it features sort of what's unique about the men and women who are fighting on the ground locally in their nation for the same things we're fighting for. You know, our goal with The Brave is to tell the stories of the men and women who are actually out there protecting us. Um, and these are men and women that work in 130 countries around the globe. These are men and women who are masters of disguise. These are men and women who speak dozens of languages. These are men and women who rely on one another um, in order to do things that seem almost impossible to get done. You know, these are men and women who have tremendous faith in one another. These are men and women, ultimately, who are unsung heroes whose stories deserve to be told. And these are men and women who are the kind of heroes we can all relate to. You know, what makes them special isn't necessarily their extraordinary skill level, it's their attitude, it's their resiliency, it's their mindset. It's qualities that we all have, qualities that connect us to these characters so that we feel like what we're watching is a better version of ourselves as opposed to some hero that we can't imagine being. 
At the end of the day, these are men and women who are human beings. These are men and women put in extraordinarily difficult situations. These are men and women that have to make incredibly difficult choices. You know, these are men and women that aren't perfect. These are men and women that have to deal with their mistakes. And sometimes their mistakes have incredibly difficult, sometimes their mistakes have incredibly wide ranging consequences. Um, but ultimately these are men and women that are a lot more like the rest of us than we've been led to believe. When I talk to the men and women who actually do this job, invariably I ask them, what's the difference between life and death? Um, and is it that you're a great shot? Is it that you're just tougher than me? Um, and they said to me, no, the difference is the training we do. The difference is how we move. It's not what we do with the gun. It's what we do with our feet. It's what we do with our minds. And so when we set out to create the brave, we made as a goal, let's get right what the people who do this job tell us is what's really important. Let's get the movement right. Let's get the thinking right. Let's show them have these Murphy's Law things go wrong and pivot and rotate. Let's see how they sort of use ingenuity to overcome a problem. Let's not see 50 gun battles a week. Let's see three or four incredibly smart decisions that might end potentially with a gunshot or might just end with the team walking away. No one ever knows they were there.